to come and help preaching in India. At that time, we didn't have very many Indian devotees. Our devotees were all Westerners, practically. And so Gargamuni Swami had gone to America and he recruited some young men to come to India to help in the preaching. And they'd gone to Germany and they purchased some vehicles, Mercedes-Benz vans, about six of them. And he, he, they brought them all, all the way over from Europe to India and brought them into India because at that time in India it was very difficult to get things, you know. And there was only one car, ambassador car, and it was, there were no vans really. And so uh, he brought these Mercedes Benz vans over from Germany and he, he had them all equipped with loudspeaker systems, playing Hare Krishna mantra. And the idea was, you know, we use them in preaching in India. So, Prabhupada was in Calcutta and uh, Prabhupada was also coming out to Mayapur. So, Prabhupada, we purchased uh, three ambassador cars for Prabhupada. One was kept in Bombay, which is now Mumbai, and one was in Delhi, and one was kept in Calcutta. And you can see that car, it's in Mayapur. It's kept in Mayapur, a red ambassador with a big uh, chrome tea lac on the front of the bonnet of the car. 
It's a nice car. We had special seats put in it and everything. You know, cars were different in those days. Nowadays, everything is plastic. And you hit the car, you have to buy a new part. But in Prabhupada's time, if you got a bump, you know, you, you got the hammer and you, 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 it, you put it back into shape again. You didn't buy new carts. Nowadays, it, it's a total different. Anyway, Prabhupada's car and Gargamani six vehicles and, you know, many devotees. We were a lot of devotees. And we were all going out to Mayapur with Prabhupada. So it was arranged. You know, we'd all, it's like one big procession, just like Srila Jagataka Swami Maharaj, he had his entourage, you know, he had, there's his car, and then there's an, an ambulance, and then other devotees in other cars, so, like that. And so Prabhupada had a big group, we were a big group, you know, six car vans, and Mercedes vans, and a Prabhupada's ambassador, and a few other cars. And we all went out. And Prabhupada's program to go to Mayapur was always to stop halfway and take his breakfast. And there's a particular piece of land. Every year Prabhupada would stop there. It was a mango grove. A little mango grove just at the side of the road. So, you know, it came, we left to Adelaide. At, came to breakfast time and probably stopped and everybody st we stopped at the mango grove and so we arranged first of all Prabhupada sat down and the sannyasis all served Prabhupada his breakfast and after Prabhupada had taken his breakfast and he was fully satisfied then we sat all the sannyasis down the, at that time I was this I was just a Brahmachari. So, the sannyasis, there were like Tamal Krishna Goswami, Gargamuni Swami, Brahmananda Swami, you know, all powerful sannyasis. <laughs> Very powerful people, you know. Uh, so, we, we sat all the sannyasis down. There was Achutananda Swami, Jagpataka Swami maybe had also come. And they all sat down, and with, with brahmacharis, we served them prasadam. And after they took their prasadam, then all, we, all of our, the other brahmacharis, we all took our prasadam. And Prabhupada said, he remarked, very nice. He said, when the etiquette is followed, then certainly Krishna is present. So, that was Prabhupada's instruction to us on the importance of etiquette. When the etiquette is followed, then certainly Krishna is present. So sometimes we're not so aware of the importance of etiquette, but this anecdote, which was true, actually happened. I was there and I witnessed the whole thing. So. It's important for us to remember that etiquette is important and even though we may think it's troublesome, we're not so cultured, we're not, we don't have that upbringing in the Vedic culture, but it's, it's very important for us because that's, that's what pleases Krishna. And similarly, there's another pastime in Chaitanya Charitamrita which is described how Lord Chaitanya called Sanatana Goswami to come to the to see him. And Sanatana Goswami was staying with Haridas Thakur at the Siddhabhaku and he had to go to see Lord Chaitanya, which required him there were two ways. One was we one was to go along the road and go in front of Lord Chaitanya's temple. And the other way was to cross over the hot sand. So, you, those of you should know, you walk on the hot sand in the middle of the day, it's very hot, it burns your feet. Just like if you go on Parikrama in Vrindavan, Kartik Parikrama, at the beginning of the month, it's very hot and your feet you know, on the hot
hot black soil, you can get blisters and so on. And so work, walking on hot sand is like walking on coal. But Sanatana Goswami considered if he walked in front of the, the temple, he may touch the bodies of people who are worshipping Lord Jagannath. And he thought, therefore, if I, if I touch them with my body, and Sanatan was so humble, he thought, I'm a fallen, contaminated soul. And if I touch them with my body, certainly I will contaminate them. How will they ever worship Lord Jagannath? Therefore, Sanatan came over the hot sand and he burned his feet. And Lord Chaitanya praised him for strictly following the Vaishnava etiquette. The etiquette word that he, we should always be humble and give respect to others. So, this is my introduction to the topic. Druta Karma, this is Druta Karma Prabhu, very senior Srila Prabhupada disciple. He's famous as a writer. He's published a number of important books. And he will speak some. The etiquette is when I. You referred first of all with honoring, um, give honor to others, make friends with your peers. That's from Srimad Bhagavatam, right? That's uh, Narada Muni instructing Dhruva Maharaj. To tell you the truth, Maharaj, I don't remember exactly who said it to who, but. I do recall hearing it many times from Sri Prabhupada, so I accepted it as authoritative. Uh, what the principles are, one should serve and honor and inquire from those who are more advanced, make friends with ones equals in devotional service and be kind and merciful to those who are less advanced. Very nice, yes? Be kind and merciful to those who are less advanced. Make friends with our peers, those who are their equals. And be enthusiastic and eager to hear and to serve those who are our seniors. That's very important for all of us. It's definitely not good if somebody is in the position of being senior and only with juniors all the time. We need to be with seniors and we need to learn to develop that humility and to practice showing respect to those who are our seniors. It will help us to purify our consciousness. So we will invite the Maharaji. Thank you for the possibility to uh, ask questions. My name is Lohi Devidasi. I am now in the room of my family. Yes, uh, my name is, uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't remember, and I temporarily live in Michael. I have a question of such a character. Tell me, please, if the older ones, they are not just etiquette, it's a spiritual growth. That is, if the older ones also do not follow the etiquette, that is, it's a material consciousness, how to behave better. If uh, our seniors are not following the etiquette, uh, how should uh, the juniors the, um, behave? There are different kinds of seniority. Someone may be senior in terms of the age of his body. Someone may be senior in terms of his 
managerial position. Someone may be senior in terms of the date of his initiation. Someone else may be senior in terms of their realization. So, when you talk about someone senior, you have to consider in what way are they senior. And so, if someone is in a senior position in terms of things like the age of their body, then, all right, externally we will respect them, but at the same time we will be careful not to associate too closely with them. If they're not following, if you know that they're deviating from the standard of Krishna consciousness, then you should be careful not to get too close to them. At the same time, you should consider what is your position. Are you, see, are you in a position that you can instruct them? Probably not. As you say, they're senior. So they're senior to you. So you're not in the position to give them any kinds of advice or instruction. So what you can do is to approach another person who is in a senior position and then tell them what you think is wrong and what you, what you have observed that you consider that they're doing wrong. And then leave it to them to take some action. You have to consult the authority structure which is set up in ISKCON. There is an authority structure. So somebody is deviating from the process of Krishna consciousness. So you bring it to the attention of somebody who is in an authoritative position. And then leave it to them to take care of it. But you be yourself be careful not to get too close. And at the same time, respect, offer respect to them externally. Of course, in preaching, we have to remember the principle is somehow or other get people attracted to Krishna and the rules and regulations, they come later, gradually. The, in the beginning, you know, we don't want to put too many rules and regulations to people. We want to encourage people to become attached to Krishna. We encourage people to come, chant and dance and take the sadam. You know, we don't mind if they use the left hand or what, you know. <laughs> of course, they're just new devotees. You know, but Gradually, we, we do need to introduce the rules and regulations. Just like you come to India, you know, you come to the Holy Dham, and it happened even, you know, in devotees in Prabhupada's time, I remember there was an incident that some of the sannyasis, that they had gone there and to one of Prabhupada's god brothers, and they had given them prasadam, and one of them took prasad with his left hand and they were like shocked. <laughs> you know, sannyasi, you know, and he's using his left hand to take prasadam. It's, you know, you know, it's just, it's just unbelievable, it's shocking. So, Srila Prabhupada was concerned that we would represent him nicely. And of course, Prabhupada also knew we were coming, like myself, you know, I'm from a Yavana or Malaysia background, I'm from a West, I'm a Western body, I'm not brought up in the Vedic culture, I've come to the Vedic culture. But the beginning of my life was not the Vedic culture. 
So we have to understand there is a need for us to rectify ourselves and to try to bring ourselves into up to the standard which is there. That's Vaishnavas. And Prabhupada would even say, you're not Vaishnavas, you're trying to become Vaishnavas. To be a Vaishnava is a very elevating thing. We're trying, we're on the path. And so part of becoming Vaishnava is to follow the principles. Uh, as we heard, sadhu bhushana, the ornaments of the sadhus. Sadhu, you say, oh, I'm not a sadhu. No, all devotees are sadhus. All devotees are mahatmas, even Prabhupada's. All devotees are pure devotees. This is a movement for pure devotees. We follow the principles that is pure devotion. So we do have a duty to represent Srila Prabhupada and represent this movement. And part of that duty is to nicely follow these different principles. In the beginning, when I first came to the movement, we were always taught, we were, we were told, again, I can remember when I was a new devotee, Malati, <laughs> and she was the wife of the GBC at the time, Shamsundar Prabhu was the GBC, and she had come and she was lecturing to us, you have to open the banana with your right hand, you don't use your left hand. How to open a, how to peel a banana with a Wow! <laughs> I was puzzled. <laughs> anyway, gradually these things become uh, understood. But it's, it's a responsibility. We have to remember people are watching, people are looking, and they want to see how much you're following the culture. So it's a responsibility, particularly coming to India, where people are aware of these things. <coughs> All right. Any other question? Some other question? Yes, Prabhu. Go in on safari for another day. Go in on safari. 